morning lovely people I'm starting this video completely different to any other on the channel and I'm going to introduce myself I'm Rob and I like cars uh, can you do us a favor and subscribe to the channel makes me feel much better about myself oh and you'll see when I upload new videos like today's which is why I sold my car to we buy any car I'm sure lots of people are thinking I'm absolutely bonkers for doing that but it had to be done and I will explain why in the video so uh, oh there's a big puddle uh, okay on with the video the car I'm talking about was my BMW 6 Series 640D Grand Coupe and that is the absolute beast of a diesel engine BMW do twin scroll turbo heaps of power and just drive, kind of drives like a petrol but I won't get into all that now if you are interested I've done an in-depth review further back on the channel so why did I sell it to we buy any car basically there was a few things wrong with it and I just wouldn't have felt comfortable selling it to a fellow enthusiast like ourselves I would have been lying awake at night thinking oh I sold him a broken car I hope they don't come and petrol bomb my house <laughs> so the first thing wrong with it was the boot was leaking water so where the batteries were located which is where the spare wheel is in most cars or most old cars there was a puddle underneath the batteries and uh, also underneath the fuse box I'm no expert but I don't think water and fuses and batteries mix and the water was coming in through one of the rear lights and to fix it would have mean replacing the whole lights like the whole unit and that would have probably cost a fortune and I didn't even look into it because of the other things wrong with it that I'll get onto uh, I, was just, I was a bit bored of it it was diesel can't have that much fun in a diesel really there was something wrong with the top of the windscreen as well I think something to do with the seal I never quite figured that out but it, it sounded like a Chinese woman having an orgasm or something when you went over 100 mile an hour not so much a problem in the UK but as soon as you find yourself in Mexico big problem another thing the gearbox it kind of felt like it was eating itself when you put your foot down you could feel something wrong with it like it was crunching away and I'm pretty sure it was due to the high torque output obviously it was modified I had 823 newton meters of torque or 607 foot-pounds of torque which is obviously quite a lot I got told the gearbox was uh, it was okay for 850 newton meters and someone else said 900 I'm gonna go back on that and say I think it's 800 I think mine was too much so that felt like I, I feel like it was gonna go one day I also managed to blow all the speakers in it I looked at replacing them all with the Harman Kardon ones. Is he saying speed camera? That man was just flashing. I'm not speeding. Yeah, everyone's flashing to that. Good on them. Top people. I like these people. This is what we need more of in the world. There's always a camera van down here and he hides in a bush. Let's see if he's still in that bush. Anyway, yeah, I, bl I blew most of the speakers in the BMW. I don't know how, I don't know if it was me playing music too loud or maybe the water damage from the boot. But I looked into replacing them all with the Harman Kardon ones. And it was about two grand. There he is. £2,000 for Harman Kardons all around. And most of all, I was bored of it. I didn't want to spend any more money to make it interesting to me again it was time to move on so I clearly did 
it's the best decision I ever made. This is appreciating, and the BMW is depreciating, so it's a win-win, isn't it, really? But I think that'll do for today's video, so thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, hit the like button, comment, let me know what you think, and possibly subscribe. As I said, it makes me feel much better about myself. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye.